Hey, very good Thursday night, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. We're in for a treat. We've had cooler and drier air spilling in today. You probably felt the drier aspect to it. Highs today, upper 80s, low 90s, but we're going to work on that. In fact, by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, how about this? 50s across the eastern side of the Brazos Valley over to Hearn, low 60s for the rest of us. A mildly cool start to the day with a pretty fantastic finish as well. Here we go into your Friday. Temperatures are only at 70 degrees or so. By about 10 o'clock in the morning, low 80s. That's all we're looking for tomorrow for most of the Brazos Valley, anywhere from 80 to 84. In fact, our far eastern counties may not even break 80 degrees. That's the good news. It is going to be a breezy day. Winds from the north 5 to 15, gusting to 20, and that relative humidity, mighty, mighty low. Most of the Brazos Valley continues to be under a burn ban, so outdoor burning shouldn't be in your plans anyway. But very dry conditions means the fire danger will be elevated for tomorrow, and that's something to watch. Saturday's forecast. If you're headed to the game over at Kyle Field, tailgating through the day or just your Saturday plans, We'll start very cool. It's going to be the coolest morning of the next seven days, mid-50s for most of the Brazos Valley. 74 degrees by Saturday lunchtime. Daytime highs up around the low 80s once again, looking at about 83 here in Bryan College Station. Enjoy it this weekend because next week we start seeing a little more cloud cover slip in. Winds returning from the south, moisture returns, and temperatures possibly around 90 degrees. But it's not all bad news because... We do need rain in the Brazos Valley, and another cold front could be working in here a week one, but another cold front could be working in here by Friday, and that may bring that much-needed rain chance to the table to wrap up the week. Something to monitor, but for now, the weekend's looking good. We're going to get you the latest details over at kbtx.com. They'll be up on News 3 as well as soon as football is over. We'll get you News 3 at 10, and if you're headed to bed, meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. She's back tomorrow morning, Brazos Valley this morning, 530 to 7 a.m. We'll catch you there.